Hello, my name is Elizabeth Goddard um, from Revive Your Soul. I've been working through January putting together a glossary of terms that uh, might help you if you're healing from an abusive, uh, emotionally abusive relationship. Um, it's terminology that's uh, words that you might come across as you go on your healing journey. Um, just an understanding and also an understanding of what might have been happening um, to you to help you understand this wasn't your fault or to help you take responsibility for the part that was your fault. So I'm on C and the C is for circular conversations for closure. Codependency, it's uh, for cognit cognitive dissonance, complex post-traumatic stress disorders and crazy making. The C is for circular conversations. So you might have found, or you might find if you're still in a relationship, or um, if you look back, uh, some of the arguments or, or, or some of the disagreements were exactly the same. Um, and you get to a point um, that you think you've resolved something, you've come to a re resolution and you believe you've resolved something, only to find that that conversation has been uh, resurrected and you're repeating this pattern once again. So it's these arguments that go on and on and they're endless and you've agreed and you've got to that point you've made that agreement. Uh, so that's circular conversations. Uh, closure. Closure in a relationship involves honesty, and it involves healthy, non-judgmental communication um, that helps with the letting go. It helps uh, with the, the going separate ways. A any relationship that ends, there's going to be one party that's ready to leave and possibly another party that isn't ready to leave, that doesn't see that, that they're at the end of the relationship. So by having healthy closure, being the, the other party understand why, um, why you don't want to continue in that relationship anymore. When you don't get closure, when you're denied closure, it's unhealthy, it's damaging, and it's destructive and controlling. And, um, and everything around these relationships are around power and control. Um, it's something that the abuser, um, seems to be lacking and that in their own life or feel that they're out they're not power they've lost power or they've lost control so closure is in a healthy relationship is something that you're going to get uh, in an unhealthy relationship it's being done as a, a as a control mechanism um, controlling the amount of information that you've got controlling um, your understanding and i'm going to go on to to that in a moment so the next one is codependency. So relationship in which an otherwise um, mentally healthy person is controlled or manipulated by another. Uh, these are manufactured um, actions intended to create um, desire, jealousy, dependence, addiction, and anxiety for you to be codependent on another person. So you might be uh, a normally healthy person, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Um, and through this relationship, it's making turning you into a codependent uh, person. So that's code C is for codependency. C is for cognitive dissonance. So cognitive dissonance occurs when we experience a state of holding two or more um, contradictory thoughts or beliefs at the same time. So in a relationship, this can be the belief that your partner is in love with you and yet the actions don't, um, don't mirror that. So it's when your brain gets confused. Um, it's the gaslighting, um, and it takes a long time. It's re cognitive dissonance and, and the art of doing that and the person that does that, it's, it's, um, it's not a nice experience to come out completely confused um, and um, to have to untangle and detangle. Um, and that's where the complex post-traumatic stress comes in as well. You might have heard of post-traumatic stress disorder. It might be something that you've heard about on the news. Um, soldiers, soldiers coming back from war. A complex 
post-traumatic stress disorder is a psychological injury um, resulting from repeated trauma over months and years. Okay, so it's not just one single event. This is a little tiny, it's a bit like water torture. It's little tiny um, bits uh, that are happening um, uh, psychologically um, and you're reliving really the traumatic experience um, and these things can include nightmares, uh, they can include uh, emotional flashbacks, uh, they might be, you might find yourself not being able to go to certain situations or certain places. You might find you're on alert all the time and you're looking over your shoulder all the time. It might be uh, you feel jittery or you're easily startled by noises. So that's complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Once you're in the idealization stage and they feel comfortable enough, they might talk a lot more about their exes than any other healthy individual would. During the idealization stage, they are um, telling you how amazing you are and how nobody has ever understood them on the, on the level and the way that you understand them. And then they tell you stories about their crazy exes. Um, they might describe them as bipolar, uh, crazy making, they might describe their crazy making behavior um, during the relationship. They might tell you stories of their crazy exes being bitter or jealous of the relationship that they're now in. Um, and it's a common thread. And what I would urge you, if this person is telling you that you're amazing and you're the only person that's understood them and they're describing this behavior from all of their exes, and then I would ask what the common thread is. Crazy making is the cognitive dissonance. It's crazy making in relationships. It's, it's um, a dynamic used to make you question yourself um, and for you to self-doubt. Okay, again, this is about control. Um, and you might believe you're going crazy because really you are in a, a way that your mind cannot comprehend what's going on. Um, um, you know, what, one, what you're told in one hand and, 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 and then what, what you're experiencing as actions. Um, again, as I said, these are all about power and control. Um, and you might find, you might question your own sanity, uh, you might find yourself becoming more emotionally needy or dependent on the other person. So that is, C is for circular conversations. So those arguments that go on and on, you think you've resolved it and they start up again. Closure or not getting closure in a relationship. In a healthy relationship, you're gonna get closure. Um, Codependency is where the actions are making you dependent um, and coercion is one that I haven't put in that I am going to add. Um, so, and this is the withholding of means. Um, coercive behavior can be money and um, attention and, and holding a person in a situation that they can't leave. Feel that they have to be behave in a certain way. Codependency, cognitive dissonance, um, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, crazy ex and crazy making.